Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome to a video on the crew once again. And today what I'm going to be showing you is the customization of the 370Z during the beta. So keep in mind that he's a ridiculously low level at this point, level 3, when he's going in to customize his first car. And also keep in mind that this is a beta, so it is far from final. There's a lot of things that aren't accessible in the game, especially because max rank is level 10. Where uh, on the beta and in the full game it's going to be level 50 I believe so there's a lot to it and this is a street spec car so there will be other tuning options for different specifications of car as well I believe so let's jump into the customization and I will kind of walk you through it as we go along I've already shown you some customization footage from the route 909 live stream back when it happened and uh, Really, I just wanted to show you this now because I've had the experience of trying it myself and I can kind of explain a bit more than I would in the last video. So in this video, thanks to Tuners, he sent me some ultra footage so it doesn't look like horrible like my footage did. So uh, it doesn't show the game in a bad way. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, so here we are with customization in the 370Z. So first thing you can do, obviously what you want to do, is change the colour of your car. There's a lot of options there, you know, different styles of paint, metallic. And obviously you can also go to official, which is kind of the manufacturer's paints. And uh, that's that's usually the ones I stick with, especially with the Camaro, because it, it's kind of got the black, yellow, and grey, and orange. That's really the only colours I can think to put a Camaro in. But if anything else took with your fancy, you can switch to it. Now, the bumpers are quite interesting indeed. Some of them only change the slightest part, maybe kind of like towards the side, the light slightly, or maybe the grille of my Camaro, you know, completely just over the grille and the lights just flick up and such. And the rear bumpers sometimes change drastically as well, or sometimes they can just change the exhaust, which I think is a really nice touch, because a lot of the time there might be a bumper I want, but sometimes those exhausts might not be right, so I can just change it with uh, an exhaust I do want. And you've obviously got your rims here, which there's a lot of choice here. There's a lot of different crazy rims available in this game. Obviously, not official rims, but there's some really wacky ones in there because of that. And it's really, really cool. There's some like spiral one that my friend was using in the video yesterday, as you saw. And we've got spoilers, obviously, which are varied from car to car. And thankfully, every hood I've seen so far has the exact same one in carbon fiber, which is awesome news for people like carbon fiber because I like carbon fiber on a lot of cars. So there's also a lot of stuff you can do like fenders and side mirrors that some, uh, I'm guessing aren't available on some cars because it wasn't available on this or my Camaro or maybe it's a different, you know, it's only per spec car or something. And you can also change the interior of the car. So you can actually change a lot about it. You can change, uh, obviously, there's three colours and you can fully colour the, the interior or you can do it by one square or, you know, two squares, if that makes sense. And obviously got your stickers here, which there's a wide variety of them. Uh, but they are quite expensive, so tuners didn't manage to buy one here. So, as you can see, the customization is pretty darn deep in this game. Uh, I mean, there's obviously going to be a lot of stuff missing, because keep in mind, he's level 3 at the moment on this video. And obviously, didn't have a lot of money to go through a lot of stuff. So, that's basically the customization in the crew visually. Obviously, there's a whole performance side to it, which I'm probably going to explain in a later video, because I'm pretty sure you'll want to know about that. But... The customization in this game is fantastic. Like, it's, it's what I expected it to be. It's so, There's some crazy ones that you really just love. You you see a car sometimes and you, you're not sure if it is that car anymore because it's completely being converted into something else. But once you realize it's that car, you can tell exactly it's that car. I mean, you'll see the shape of the car be the same sometimes, you know, and that's what will make you recognize it. But it looks completely different and that's really what I love about the crew. It's about open world, exploring a massive, massive world with your friends. Like, I spent four hours, five hours yesterday just driving around the US exploring, and I had a blast doing it. I never thought, let's do something else. Like, we'd be driving to a set location, and we'd kind of get distracted, because <laughs> we'd find some really nice looking driving road, and we'd go there and try that. And uh, obviously the customization on there as well. That's going to keep me pushing, keeping these, doing these skill challenges, keeping me earning money to make sure that I get the best looking parts for my car. It's just been a long time since I've had a game that really just has this this gameplay where it's 
I want to keep going. I never want it to end. But unfortunately, it's a beta. Now, I've got to thank Tuners extremely, extremely much for this footage because he sent me it because he's so awesome. Uh, he sent me the footage because my game, as you can tell from yesterday's video and from other PC videos that I've done, it's not fantastic, my PC. It's not great at all. Uh, the graphics card is kind of outdated. Everything else is usually fine, but obviously my GPU is a 6770. It's not very great at all. Uh, it's basically a rehashed version of a 5770, which is also crap. But then, there you go. That's basically explains, and he's obviously got a decent NPC, so here's some very nice footage of the crew with no jaggies in sight, really. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you find found out some more information on the crew and you found out exactly what you wanted to. If you've got any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if there's more you want to see on the crew, obviously, let me know down in the comments. This has been Black Panther, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace.